Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time, y'all. Let's, uh, let's get it in. Oh, I ain't even ready, huh? Give me one second. We're going to get it in, though. We're going to get it in. Let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watch from Derek Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on the evening scripture study. Danielle, you waited for me? My heart is warmed. <laughs> This is Watchman uh, Yehuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, uh, uh, um, on the evening scripture study. I was running around having major business, and uh, but I, I made it, y'all. I made it. That's the main thing. We late, but uh, we're here. Youngster held on. That that's just so cool. Danielle, we had a good time with your age group, Alina's children, and um, a bunch of young people. We had a ball, too, um, over the weekend. Wish she was out here with us. Hallelujah. Victoria, bless you. We love you, sis, and we with you, period. But uh, after, after I get off, call my wife. And I'm going to chime in, too. I'm going to be multitasking. But you're very important to us. I don't know what's going on. But we, man, we, got, we ten toes down to the ground with you. 100% matter Yahoo. Yeah, we'll, we'll get together, uh, Danielle. We really will. Trisha Johnson, good to see you in here. Young Faithful Barbara, good to see you in here. We stuck on the idea of... Um, I'm, I'm all, uh, I need to hurry up and get out the Zoom information for tomorrow. I got some catching up to do, y'all. But uh, for now, let's concentrate on what I'm going to teach tonight. So how we do this? Um, let me close this. Oh, we family, uh, uh, Victoria, real talk. Um, let, let's go to um. Let's go back to Second Corinthians. We're gonna be dealing with this for a minute. Thirteen. And five. And this time, I think we're going to be able to make it to Romans 12 as well. That's the goal. Okay. <clears throat> Put the tag game on, Bree. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Spirit of the living Elohim, we love you. Thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humans, we know how we're in your presence because we love you. Continue to illuminate your children and send a relevant word that we may continue to grow in you. And we care for you to praise and honor not only now but forever. And imagine in Yahushua, we help me pray. Hallelujah. And Amar. It's incredible, Bree, how all the names that you're tagging. I be wondering how y'all be knowing each other like that, but y'all be on it. Danielle getting it in too. Yeah, the tagging. I'm just looking. It's incredible. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Let the tag games begin. Tagging is so important, especially when I'm late. 30 minutes late, whoever was trying to chime in probably gone about their business. Somewhere with a bottle of gin, smoking some cigarettes by now. What y'all think? My joke's not funny? Okay. Well, I'm a, let me stop. Take it. Let me stop. I never would have made it as a comedian anyway, so. I love y'all. Mother Katie, good to see you in here. Tia, 
What's up with it? Y'all, let's get this word. So, we still in the um, Prove It series. <clears throat> so, 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. Let's rock, y'all. Look. The Bible says, examine yourselves. Examine yourselves to see whether you're in the faith. Right? Excuse me. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. And it said, prove, 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 prove your own self. Let, let's do NIV. It says, test yourself. Test yourself. <laughs> Banks in the building. Good to see you in here. Test yourself. Why do we need to test yourself? Why, why would we need? Why would we need to test ourselves? Um, one thing about one thing about um, the Basora, the gospel, right? One thing about it is we want to walk circumspectly before Yah. We want we want to be what they call holy, Kadesh. We we want to be Kadesh. We want to be holy before Yah. We, we want true reconciliation with him. That's what we really want. Look like I saw a singer up in here. Is that her? But we, we want... We want a true relationship with the Most High. First and foremost. Now, <clears throat> if we deal with eschatology and all that, uh, uh, Mother Nicole Bell, good to see you in here. Yep, Soror. I thought that was Afro, young singer in the building. We're in Second Corinthians thirteen and five. We're dealing with the Prove It series, y'all. But listen, um, what what do we want out of our relationship with Yah? What what, what is what is having a relationship with Yah all about? What is this? What is this salvation thing about, y'all? Pastor Amon Bill, good to see you in here, sir. We're in 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. But what is this salvation thing really about? I mean, for real. Uh-oh. Get knocked out the box. That's what's not about to happen. Oh, yeah. How about that? But what what is, what, is, what is true salvation really about? Having a relationship with Yah. Right. You're right, Danielle. Reconciliation back to him. Now, because of the outpouring of all kind of truths, the times we're living in, we have learned since COVID, since we since we accomplished 400 years in captivity, since that date and during COVID, we have learned more words than you could ever put. We so many truths. That, can y'all testify to that? Those of you, if you really know from a theological standpoint of what's really happening, man, we didn't learn so much. We didn't learn we the people of the book without a shadow of a doubt. But we also learned, those of us that learned it, right? But we also learned that full circle, right? Going back to the book of Deuteronomy, listen to me, going back to the book of Deuteronomy, when he said, when you're in your land of captivity, Right. He talking after the 400, I'm telling you. But he said, when you're in your land of captivity and you wake up and you wake up in the land of captivity and you have a remorse about what the forefathers did and what you currently doing, that's when the wake up going to happen. Right. During that time is when the scales fall off our eyes. Right. And then we find out we owe. That's when we find out. We find out we owe y'all. And we're going to remember everything that he said to us, even going down what my wife was teaching the other day in the women's meeting. Logan, good to see you in here. Dotson, good to see you in here. But she was talking about how the Most High said to them, I, I said before you both life and death, choose, choose life. Now, we could take that scripture and, and teach that in and of itself because it's 100 percent true. But putting it in this proper context, he still was dealing with Israel. 
he was dealing with Israel about, I gave you a choice. In the book of Deuteronomy, he discloses, but I know you're going to turn on me. I know you're not going to listen. So when you see the Bible unfolding and we come in full circle back to when he gave us uh, a Torah, when he gave us the Ten Commandments, right? When he, when he gave us the Ten Commandments through Moshe, he said, you're going to come full circle. You're going to come full circle, right? Now listen to this. What does full circle look like? What does full circle look like? Because some people, Zelda, good to see you in here. Long time, young lady. We in 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. But listen, full circle to, for some people look like going back to the Ten Commandments. Right? Going back to uh, uh, the ceremonial law. Right? Going, going, going back to the Feast of Festivals. That's what it looked like to some people. So we all trying to figure this whole thing out. Nicole Robinson, good to see you in here. We, as we try to figure this whole thing out, what is paramount? What, 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 what is the main, while we learning eschatology, right? While we're learning what's really going on, while we're being deprogrammed, while we're, while, while we're spiritually leaving uh, Moses' ministry in the first 40 years of his life, graduating to the second 40 years of his life when he was being deprogrammed, getting Egyptology out of him, getting the carnal way of ministry. We ain't killing cops like he did, right? We're being deprogrammed, right? To go back and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Then we learn his name. Right? To go back and do real ministry. But at the end of the day, what is it really about? No, really, what, what, let me tell you something. If we start looking at the Bible from a total standpoint, we, we, we're getting back to the first Adam. Right? We're getting back to the first Adam when he had total relationship with the word. The word would meet him, right? Would meet him and would talk with him, right? Where, where, where he had a purity. He had a pure. He was pure. He was pure before the Most High. That's why when he sinned and he ran, and the Most High said, "Where, where art thou, Adam?" And he said, "You know, you know, you know, I ran, I hid." You know, you know, why are you high? Because I'm naked. Who told you he was naked? His purity was gone. He was naked the whole time. But his purity was gone. Full circle. We try to get back into fellowship, relationship with Yah. Now we trying to figure out what it looked like. Right? We trying to figure out what it looked like. Well, let's look. Listen. 2 Corinthians 13 to 5 says... Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. I don't know how much eschatology you know. I don't know if you know about the tabernacle and the furniture. I don't know if you know what the ephod is. Feast days and festivals and what fringes really stand. I don't know if you know all that, right? Uh, Nilly Bo, good to see you in here, son. But I know one thing, whatever the feast days and festivals represented, Whatever the tabernacle represented, whatever the fringes represented, right? Whatever, whatever the oil and Aaron's beard and 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 the, and the and the rod that budded, whatever those things represented, I'm telling you, full circle. It's all about reconciliation with the Most High, right? Real time. It's, it's about. And is it about natural reconciliation or is it about spiritual reconciliation? You need to figure that out. Is it about natural reconciliation or is it about spiritual reconciliation? Because I'm going to tell you one thing, that if any man being the Messiah, he's a new creation. That I'm going to tell you. And old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. 
you have a new attitude. You got some folks that's running around here religious that will cuss you out. You got some folks that are religious that will go to bed with you. You got some folks that are religious that's on drugs. They still got the same stank attitude. We got folks like that. We got some professional church folk, some, 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 some gospel singers. Yeah. Some gospel singers that, that, that's, 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 that's down with same sex marriage. We, we, got, we got some stuff we dealing with y'all. We got some sneaking deacons. Some pimping pastors. We got all kind of stuff going on about folks that claim to know y'all. Nephew, good to see you in here, Tinsley. All right, nephew. Now, now, now my nephew with me. Now y'all in trouble now, see? But you're right, Logan. It's about spiritual reconciliation 100%. And what does that look like? This is what we're dealing with in this Prove It series. Examine yourself. Second Corinthians 13 and 5, y'all. Examine yourself to see whether you be in the faith. Now I'm trying to methodically break that down. You know what I'm talking about? I'm really trying to methodically break that down to examine yourself to see whether you be in the faith. You got to know how to do that. You got to know how to... Go in the mirror of the word. And when you're reading, you should find yourself spiritually. And you know what you should be finding? Especially when you first start, you know what you should be finding? Faults in you. You should be finding things that you should be doing that you're not doing. When you go into the mirror of the word, listen to me. When you go in the mirror of the word, you should go in there and find yourself. On, on whether or not you should be talking the way you talk and walking the way you walk. You should go in the word and be able to find out whether you hanging with some folks you shouldn't be hanging with. All the way down to whether or not you sleeping with someone you shouldn't be sleeping with. JB, we in here in the previous series, 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. We still here, man. Yeah, or whether or not you hold grudges. You should go in the mirror of the word. Yeah. L let's look at it. Th that's going to help me today. I can go so many ways with this. But since it's a series, we're going to be messing with this for a minute. Thank Keisha Beard. She told me, you need to learn. She didn't, I was going to say it like it, she was mean to me, but she wasn't. But you should, t you should do series. You should get organized and do serious. Okay, here, here I go. I'm going to listen to you, Keisha. Listen, we're going to James, right? I'm all in. I don't know what version of the Bible I'm in, but uh, let's see. One in, um, I thought it was in two, though. But it's in one. Let's go to James 1 and 22. 1 and 22. James 1 and 22. Let's deal with it. Look what it says. James 1 and 22. Okay, see, Bell, you would we we doing we doing the um we doing we we're gonna do we're gonna do the prove it series. And I'm and I'm really gonna break it down to it. I'm probably going to be doing this whole week. But let's deal with it. 1 to 22. Look what this is. Y'all write these scriptures down. Luis, always good to see you. I know you're praying for me too. Bless you. Pull up a chair. We're doing a proving series. Uh, the main scripture that we've been dealing with is 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. But now we over here in James 1, beginning at 22. Look what it says. Read, good to see you in here. Hallelujah. You're talking good to me, Mark Logan. 22, look what it say. 
Be you doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving yourselves. Y'all hear that? Be you doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own self. Yeah, be a doer. Do it. Are y'all with me? But look what else it say. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, look what he's like. He's like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. Y'all with me? For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man uh, he was. Y'all caught that? 24 again. Let's look at it. Demina, good to see you in here. We're in James 1 and 24. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. Okay. So listen. It's like this. It's like you look in the mirror at your natural face and you see who you are. That's naturally speaking. But how many of y'all know when you read the word, you can see yourself? When you're reading the Bible, you can see yourself. You can see your spirit. You can see your character. You can see the flaws that you have. You can see the most highest expectation for you, and you can see where you come up short. Are y'all with me? If you with me, put a one in here. Put a one in here if you understand the difference. You look in the physical mirror, you're looking at your flesh. You're looking at your outer appearance. And you can see your reflection. Pastor Kim Tinsley, good to see you in here. We're in, in, in James 1 and, 20, and 24. Uh, we started at 22. Yeah, but we but the main scripture is 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. Are y'all with me? You're putting a one in here. Listen to me. Listen. Watch this. Right, 24. No, let me go back to what I was saying. When you look, when you when you look at the physical mirror and you're looking at your physical reflection, you see yourself. I'm telling you, when you read the word right, when you're reading the word, you can see yourself spiritually. If the word is telling you, you know, how you should talk, when you're reading the word is telling you. And you can see yourself whether or not you line up with that. Your dating life. You know if you, a young lady getting dressed for a date and she got on low, showing her cleavage. She examining how her butt look. You know. She examining, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with looking cute. I'm not hating in fact, I'm congratulating any female, male and female relationship almost. Not all of them. Just don't be unequally yoked. But I applaud you if you're strong enough to still like a man, women, and women is still like, uh, and, and men is still like women. Did I say that right? A woman is still like a man and a man is still like a woman. I applaud you because it's real goofy right now. And you better look at what they're doing to our children in schools. That's a whole nother lesson. Let me stay focused. Because if you stay focused, you won't go for the hocus pocus. But we need to, don't you forget your children. Because they working them over. They changing the bathrooms too. But back to the point. Listen. With, look, look, look. When you look in the mirror of the word, you see your spiritual character. And you can see where you should come up. If you read like you should. If you listen to the word like you should. If you have a healthy relationship with the word of Yah, it is showing you you. It is showing you you, right? So so when it says in 22, be you doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. A listener is not going to make it. You got to be seriously matter of fact about this relationship with God. This got to be the most important relationship you got. If you got any relationship in your life more important than your relationship with Yah, you coming up short. And you'll turn on Yah for whomever you have a relationship with that is more important to you than Yah. Yeah, if your husband is more important than Yah, he calling the shots over Yah. 
If your woman is more important than Yah, she calling the shots over Yah. If your children is more important, yeah, period. And you're going to get tested. I'm going to stay focused, y'all. Listen. Be you doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. We be thinking we're going to listen our way into heaven, don't we? It ain't going to happen. You got to be purpose driven. You got to be purpose driven and you can't let nothing or no one sidetrack you. You can go on a sabbatical, come up missing and talk about how busy you was. You're being deceived. Because everybody that's living this life is it, it's just forcing them. It, they, they ain't taking no for an answer. They ain't letting a job, a man, a woman, mama, daddy, cousin, even their own self. They're not even letting their own self derail them from the most important thing on planet Earth, and that's for you to be reconciled with the Creator. 22, James 1 and 22. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. Look at this. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, you heard the word, but you don't do it. You heard, do you know how many people listen to the true word and then finish cussing? Some of y'all might do it. Do you know how many people, I'm, I'm serious too. Do you know how many people listen to a word like we be having go forth and then post some stuff they never should have posted? They ain't doing nothing but telling on themselves. They cussing and they post. They posting stuff that ain't cool. Post brothers posting half naked women. Women women are posting themselves half naked, talking crazy. But yet they they always chiming in. Oh, I'm trying to tell you something. Listen, twenty third verse. Look what it say. That's good, Bree. Look what it say. 23, for if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, look what he's like. He's like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. So you look at your physical self in the glass, right? 24, first say, behold himself and goeth his way. You leave the mirror and straightway forgetting what matter of man he was. You forgot. Just like you go in the word or you hear the word. It's not a hearer, Remember? I'm not just talking about physically looking at the Bible and reading it. I'm talking about hearing it too. It says, if any man be a hearer, right, and not a doer, he's deceiving himself. Listen. So you like you listen to the word now, but soon as soon as we chime off, you revert back to some 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 mess. Pastor John, good to see you in here, sir. When uh uh, uh James one and twenty twenty four now, sir, listen. For he beholdeth himself in the mirror, right? And goeth his way, straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. Okay, so we're looking in, 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 in the, the, law, the, 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 the law of life, the law of liberty. We're, we're looking into the spirit of the word. We're looking, we're looking in the word, and the most high through that process shows you you and shows you where you need to come up. Are you with me? Look what the 25th verse say. But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty, that's the mirror of the word, y'all, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the word, this man shall be blessed in all his deeds. Are you with me? You want to be blessed? Let's go back. I just want to build that foundation. I needed some help, y'all. 2 Corinthians 13, 5. Look what it say. It says, examine yourself to be whether you be in the faith. He's telling you to examine yourself. How many of y'all want to be saved? How many of y'all want to be saved for real? Have a true relation with the Most High. Not a Catholicized, fake relation with the Most High. But you want to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You don't want to be a hearer of the word and not a doer. Because if you're a hearer of the word and not a doer, you deceive your own self. You're not Catholicized to the point that you believe that you ain't got to do nothing, that, that Jesus did it all and you ain't got to do nothing, but you got the revelation that we were baptized into his death like Romans the sixth chapter say, and like he was raised up by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. For if we haven't planned to give the likeness of his death, we should be also the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, and henceforth we should not serve sin. 
for he that is dead is freed from sin. Are y'all with me? So when we look at 2 Corinthians 13 to 5, it says, examine yourself. I'm trying to get to the meat of it, y'all. Listen, examine yourself to see whether you be in the faith. We got some homework. I gave it out yesterday. I'm going to keep giving it out for this whole series. We got some homework to do. Examine yourself to see whether you be in the faith. That means that you got the ability and you're blessed if you do, because everyone don't. But if you have the ability to look in the mirror of the word and find yourself and see where you come up short, if you got the ability to, the, the ability to admit it, Jeremiah 17 to 9, the heart of man is deceitful above all things. It's deceitful and it's desperately wicked. The scary part, it'll trick you. It'll tell you you're good. It'll tell you you and the most high is good, even though you don't do what he say. You don't do you don't do what he say, but you say you love him. I hear you. Be, be, being a hearer of the word and not a doer, the Bible says deceiving your own self. The heart of man is is deceitful above all things. You'll convince yourself that you and the most high is cool, because he's helping you pay the bills. Bible says he reigned on the just as well as as well as the unjust. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wicked people get blessed all the time. You hear somebody holler, bingo, look around as a pimp. Bingo. He got a pink suit, big old hat, feather. And then and, 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 and then and then the dope dealer, the dope dealer nudge the guy next to him and say, he always win. He lucky. So you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't say you blessed because he, come on, talk back to me. Oh, we're going to talk today, Victoria. As soon as I get off, like I say, call on in. We're going to deal with it. Are y'all with me? But examine yourself. Listen, examine yourself to see whether you're in the faith. And then it says, test yourself. I'm in IV now, y'all. Test, test, prove. Oh, no, back to KJV. Prove it. Pro prove it. Prove you with him. If you have the ability to admit when you're wrong, because you got some folks that don't do what he say, but let them tell it, they do obey. Remember when I read to y'all 1 Samuel 15 with King Saul? Saw Samuel coming and said, I've done the will of Yah. And that was a lie. And they had to go back and forth about four times before he admitted that he, he didn't do what he was told to do. That's the deception. That's the deceitful heart I've been telling y'all about. You'll say that you're obeying Yah and you're not. You'll say you're obeying Yah and you're not. You're say, you'll say that you and Yah is cool, but you cuss. And the Bible said, let not filthy communication come out your mouth. But you'll say you and y'all is cool. Folks getting drunk. Folks on drugs. Say them and y'all is cool. Backbiting, talking about folks, smiling their face, stabbing in the back. But you say, y'all, you and y'all is cool. How y'all cool? The heart of man, come on, y'all, is 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 deceitful above all things, and is desperately wicked. So, if you do have the ability to examine yourself, whether you be in the faith, then it said prove it, because it has to be followed up with proof. You can't even believe your own self. Oh, I love him. Prove it. Oh, I love him. Now, now everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom. Oh, he's Lord. Not everyone that says with me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom. But he that doeth the will of my father, which is in heaven. You got to obey him. Let's try to get through the scripture, y'all. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. You can't make up Yah according to your own imagination. The average person has an Elohim, a God, in their head that they made up. It has some attributes of the of the Elohim of the uh, of the Sifa of the Bible. It has some attribute, but the other part they made up, and it's tailor made around them doing what they want to do, how they want to do it, when they want to do it. 
they, folks make up their own Elohim and they try to pass him off as if he's the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I'm just telling you the truth. So if you have the ability, listen to me, if you have an ear to hear what the Ruah is saying to the Ecclesia, if you have an ear to hear, examine yourself, whether you be in the faith, and then prove it. That's the homework. Prove it. That's the whole, listen, this is the homework I'm giving y'all. I'm going to be giving it out all week, just so you know, y'all permit. Listen, I want y'all to get a piece of paper, or it could be a Word doc, and write down whatever you're struggling with. And then if if the greater one is in you, because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world, if the greater one is in you, you're going to overcome it. That's the proof. Talk. Listen to what this say. The homework is exactly what the scriptures say. I ain't making up nothing for you. This is what the words say. You with me, Elliot? David? Dollison, y'all with me? Second Corinthians 13 to 5. Examine yourself. Look at yourself. If you Catholicize, you're not going to look at yourself. Oh, I'm just going to look at the cross. I'm going to look at Jesus. Okay, you go do that. Back to everybody else. Listen. Examine yourself. Like the Bible say, am I making this up? Am I making this up or is this what the words say? Examine yourself whether you be in the faith and then prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Greater is he that's in you than he's in the world, then prove it. You belong to y'all, prove it. Get a piece of paper and say you unfaithful. Then you're going to put down, I'm going to be faithful uh, for a month straight. Then do it. Prove it. I've been fornicating, but I'm going to stop. And I'm going to check in with myself after 30 days. And I'm not going to break this. I'm going, I'm, I am going. don't care how I feel, what I got to go through. The Messiah said, if any man come after me, let him deny himself. Take up his torture stake, his straw, the, 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 the pole, the tree that the, the, the Mashiach was crucified. Take that. Right? If any man will come after me, let him take up his torture stake and follow me. Period. He must deny himself. Take up the torch to stake and follow me. Do it. Prove it. You cuss, and the Bible told you not, stop cussing. Prove, prove you can. Because if the greater one is in you, you can. Because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. If the greater one is not in you, look what the scriptures say. Let me read this some more so y'all can stay with me. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. Prove your own self. Know you not your own self? How that Yahushua HaMashiach is in you? And we know that Yahushua is the word. Prove that the word is in you then. Yeah, she want to sleep with you, but you're not going to. Yeah, she want to go get an uh, a air, a, a, a Airbnb, but you ain't going to do it. Because the word told you not to. Prove, prove you safe. If the Mashiach is in you, ain't it? How that, the, how that Yahushua is in you. Except you be reprobates. Except you already be judged. Except you already failed. Except you've been turned over to yourself. Except you need false doctrine, Catholicism. You need it. Because the greater one ain't in you. And you can't obey. Because you played with him for so long. That's what Hebrews, the sixth chapter, is talking about in the, in the foundation class, y'all. For it is impossible for those who was once enlightened, but I'm going to lighten up on that part for right now. The word speaks for itself. Good to see you in here, sweetheart. Second Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine yourself. Let's get through this. I'm giving y'all homework to examine yourself. Get a piece of paper. <laughs> Prove it list is the name of it. Prove it list. And the goal would be, I'm doing it. I went and looked at some things like, you know, how I respond to certain things or certain things that I want to change about myself, right? And I put it on the list on some proof it. Yeah, prove it. I'm going to prove to me. This ain't for nobody else. This is for me. I'm going to prove to me. I'm going to examine myself whether I be in the faith.
And I'm going to prove my own self. Because I know myself. How that the Messiah, the living word of Yah is in me. Unless I'm already disqualified. If I'm disqualified, I, I, if, if I start committing adultery, I ain't going to be able to stop if I'm disqualified. If I'm a liar, I'm just going to just keep lying. I couldn't tell the truth if I wanted to. I just got to have a cigarette, period. Can't help it. Tried to kick it a few times, just couldn't do it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove. Just prove, prove, prove. Write it down and prove it. Pack of cigarettes say it say it, it destroying your temple. The Most High said, "If you defy the temple, he'll destroy you." Didn't he say? If you defy the temple, he said, "I'll destroy you." Was he playing? Was he what? We gonna make him a liar now? Put the cigarettes down. Prove, yeah, how that the Messiah is in you. Prove the Messiah is in you. The Living Word. Prove it to yourself. Just you and no, no, shouldn't nobody see the list unless you want to share it. You that confident in your relationship with Yah? You want to you want to let people in on what you're doing? I let a couple of people in on what I'm doing. <sighs> because I'm confident. It's time for me to prove my own self. It's time for you to prove your own self. Prove it. Oh, I love him. Prove it. They draw now to me with their mouth, he said. They draw now to me with their mouth. They honor me with their lips, but their heart, their lifestyle is far from it. Prove it. You talking good. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, you're into the kingdom. Not everyone that says Adonai, Adonai. Some of us know Hebrew. Prove it. Examine yourself. Get your list. How many of y'all willing to get a prove it list? Put a one in here if you're willing to get a, a prove it list. Put a two in here if you already got one. Put a one in here if you're willing to get you a prove it list. Put a two in here if you already got one. That's good. Pastor Kim Tisley say, when you get your list, put what you need to fix on one side and then put the scripture as the fix on the other. So draw a line down the thing, put what you're struggling with, and on the other side, put the scripture. Right? Which is which is fantastic. I can good one of uh, Pastor Kim Tinsley. And with that, do not forget the main task of this list. Right? Listen to me closely. The list, I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be I'm be, being raw and uncut with y'all. The list is not a way of just fighting the good fight of faith. Okay? This is what I'm saying. To have that I'm struggling with um, pornography. Kendon, good to see you in here, sir. Bless you. When it's 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. But say I give me a prove it list, right? And I put I'm struggling. No, nah, I just do a potty mouth, right? I, I'm struggling with cussing, right? So I put I'm struggling with cussing. I, what, what I'm doing, don't forget what I'm doing. It's a prove it list. I'm proving my own salvation. I'm proving that I got a relationship with Yah. I'm proving that the greater one is living in me. I'm proving, yeah, 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 that's what I'm proving. Don't forget that. So with that, I put cussing. I'm not putting cussing just to get help with cussing. I'm getting cussing. I, I put cussing down because I'm going to overcome cussing 100%. I'm not going to be wrestling with cussing. I'm going to stop cussing. I hope y'all with me. Always a pleasure, Kendi. And you and your beautiful family. Props to you. you, you, you yeah, you, the children. Yeah, y'all doing y'all thing. But listen, so I put cussing, right? I put cussing because I'm proving. What am I proving that I can stop cussing? I'm telling you, when you examine yourself, you got to be able to admit that cussing can separate me from my Elohim. Are y'all with me? I'm admitting that that's a problem. And it, and it separated me from my Elohim. The only thing I can be 
It's religious, having a form of yawliness denying the power thereof. What we just read in James, right? Being a hearer of a word and not to doer. I can hear that the Bible says, let not filthy communications proceed out of my mouth. I can hear that. I can read that and I can agree with it, but yet I still cuss. So if I put cussing down, I am drawing a line in the sand and say, I'm about to prove my salvation. I'm about to prove my true relationship with y'all. Is y'all getting what I'm saying? I'm about to prove that Yah is in me. Listen to the scripture. I'm going to read it again and I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep going on the lines that I'm going on. Oh, I closed it. Wasn't that nice? I'm going to pull it back up. That's all. Second Corinthians 13 and 5. How about that? It's back. Now what? Okay. Look what it says. It says, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. Prove your own self. So, if my potty mouth, I get mad and I get to flying off at the handle, but I know the Bible said, let not few communications come out your mouth. That's what separates the, the saints from the ain'ts. Or even the can'ts. I would if I could, but I can't. So I ain't. Are y'all with me? Listen, we can. We can do all things through, 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 through Yah, the Mashiach, that strengthens us, our Messiah. Listen. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith and then prove it. So if I examine myself, oh man, I got a potty mouth. I'll be cussing up a storm. So I'm not walking in the faith. Okay, I get that. I get that. So I'm going to put this on the list. Why? Because I'm about to prove. Because look what else it say. No, you're not yourself. No, you're not your own self. How that the Mashiach is in you? Is the Messiah in you? Is the Messiah in you? Then he, then, then, then you can you you can defeat it. Is y'all with me? All right, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one more. I ain't gonna keep y'all too much longer. I think it's uh, Corinthians, but we'll we'll get it. It's um uh it's um Second Corinthians ten. Yeah, Second Corinthians. Let me see three. Let me see. I just, I just want five. I ain't going to do it all. I want y'all to see this because I'm going to go. But listen, look what it says. It says, casting down imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yah. Are y'all with me? The word cast down, imagination, imagination, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yah and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of the Messiah. The word comes and puts your whole life in check. Anything to go against y'all, it'll, 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 it'll snatch it. In a cat, I'm telling you something. Like, if, if I got a potty mouth, who... <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Listen, I want almost tempted to get specific, but I won't. Not right now. I'm not led to enough. He, y'all would have to push me a little harder. But listen, listen, get you, get your list. I love what Pastor Kim Tinsley said because the power is in the word. Listen, get your list and say if you had a potty mouth, right? So you put that down. You put down, you know, I cuss. I be, you know, I let filthy communication proceed out of my mouth. And the Bible told me not to. So I put that down. And so then I put, let not feel the communication proceed out of your mouth, the scripture right next to it. That gives me power over it. But I'm not, this is not a, this is not a dry run, a, a, a rehearsal. I'm not saying folks will not make mistakes and maybe some things on the list. Um, You might, you might unfortunately fall. You might. But what I'm telling you is I'm not. Did you hear what I said? I'm not. I put it on the list. It's dead. You know why? Because I'm proving my own self. I'm proving my relationship with y'all. I am. This is not this is not a rehearsal. This is No, you're not your own self. How that the Messiah's in you? At least you be a reprobate. 
I sure would hate to put something on the list that I can't overcome. Because then I got a problem. Is y'all hear what I'm trying to tell you? If y'all understand what I'm trying to say, put a three in here. If you understand what I'm trying to deliver to you. Oh, I'm going to try to do bad. I'm going to give me a cuss jar. And I'm going to, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking uh, um, no, uh, uh, I'm talking about what's separating you between you and y'all. If it's your potty mouth, then get rid of it. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about if it's your lust. If you're in the porno, you put it on the list and you stay away from it. I don't care if your flesh like it or not. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? If you are adulterous or fornicator, or you a man and you like men, you a woman and like women, I don't care what these devils talking about. I ain't listening to them. You write about it, Kim. We definitely ain't going to do it on our own strength. That ain't going to happen. Looking in the mirror of the word, finding the word, what it say on, 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 the, on the issue, because, 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 ain't no way in the world you can do it on your own. Period. So you write it down, find the word on it, and you hold on to that word. And don't you give in. Because the key is the Bible here. This is this these this is one of them scriptures where it kills all games. Having a form of yolliness. Because I know we get tired of running around here talking about how much we love him. We don't do nothing he say. Folks look at us like we straight hypocrites. We lying and conniving and fickle and funny style, and we calling on him. Bunch of religious, it's just, it's ridiculous. You wonder why folk don't take y'all serious because they look at people like us. The ones, the ones of us that run our mouth, and then we end up in the bed. We quote all them scriptures, and as soon as it get dark, we in the bed with them, from Bible study to the mattress. Time out for that. Holding grudges, funny style, fickle. Religious, having a form of yachting is denying the power. Fake as I don't know what. Hope y'all with me. Back, back, back to the main scripture, because we we, 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 we towards the wind down. But listen, I don't like to keep y'all long, too long, and I already was 30 minutes late trying to get back home. But listen. Second Corinthians 13 to 5. We're on the Prove It series, y'all. We're going to be dealing with this again. What's today? Monday? Nah, we'll be back, uh, y'all permit, tomorrow morning. I'm going to be right back on it from another angle, more than likely, but we're going to be on it. Listen, examine yourself. Look at yourself. Look, I personally, I'm talking about me now. I personally want to be saved. So what I did was I got me a Prove It list. And I wrote down the things I need to change immediately. So I wrote it down. It's only been since uh, I really started a little bit before. I think I think I started on the Shabbat, but I'm just gonna say Sunday, and I can tell you uh, everything on the list I got tested on today, and I passed. During my day to day, I found something else that I can improve in. And I was having a conversation. He on here. I was having a conversation with one of my brothers today as we was doing what we was doing. And there's another thing I'm going to add to the list of something I need to change. I'm going to put it on the list. And when I put it on the list, you got to understand my mindset. This is the mindset I'm trying to share with y'all. I'm putting on, I'm, I'm putting it on the list to overcome it. It's over. Listen, I can't play with myself. Whoever want to have a relationship with the most high, still cuss and screw and get high and drunk, go to strip clubs and listen to gangster music and, and, and hold grudges and funny stuff. That's you. But you're going to be in for a rude awakening. Why does the road to lead to destruction? And the Bible says straight and there is the path to lead to life and few to be defined it. And the wide road is because folks is deceived. Folks is running around here claiming the most high and they don't have him. So prove you do if you got him. Are you with me? It, that's what I'm talking about, Banks. 
As soon as it hit the list, it's over. And real talk, we ain't running around here trying to be self-righteous like Pastor uh, Kim Tinsley said. Put the scripture next to it. We ain't, we, ain't, we ain't overcoming nothing on our own strength. We ain't even overcoming nothing with a cuss jar. Well, are we slowing down on it? No, 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 no. Great is he that's in us than he's in the world. And he ain't never told us strength is in the cuss jar. The strength ain't even in us. If we give it to him, put it on the list and give it to him. You just got to be willing to suffer when things get tougher. You got folks that sell out. Soon as they flesh get to craving, they sell him out. At least you be reprobates. We're only submitting to the word. You're right, sweetheart. And the word only. Crystal, good to see you in here. I'm blessed to see you in here. We're in 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. We're talking about proving the fact that we got a relationship with the most high. Time out for talking. Real talk, time out for talking. Every, every, every way you turn, folks, is talking. Women with women. Men with men. But yet, uh, but yet they have, thank you, Jesus. What is wrong with you? Something wrong with you. Don't do nothing he say. Despise what he say. Disagree with everything he say. But yet, thank you, y'all. Thank you, Yahushua. Hallelujah. Bible say, he didn't name it the name of Yah, let him depart from iniquity. If you name it his name, he expect you to walk away from sin. Put it on the list, y'all. So, niece, what we're doing is we got we getting a prove it list. We examine ourselves to see whether we'll be in the faith. And then they say, prove it. Prove, prove you in the faith. Write down what you're struggling with. And then overcome it. Put it on the list. Once it hit the list, it's gone. I don't have permission to do it no more. And I don't want permission to do it no more. And I ain't going to do it no more. Why? Because greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I put some stuff on the list and I was happy to put it on there too. I mean it too. I was talking to y'all about some things concerning myself, right? And um, I just said, man, I ain't doing that no more. But see, the key is, it's not blatant sin either. I, I, I ain't living in sin. Don't get that. You can get that twisted. But there was, there was, I'm just like, I'm thinking of one specific thing about myself, right? That I didn't like, right? And I'd be like, man, I, I, I ain't doing that no more. And then I find myself doing it again. Because it just wasn't blatant sin. It was just something I did. It's like a habit. And I do it again. I said, man, I ain't doing that no more. And I did that for so long that that's when I start uh, preaching proof it. That's why I start preaching it. Because most of I was dealing with me. It was like, I, I see you want to stop, but you ain't stopped. And then it got, got down to prove that you can. Because I see too many people that got the can't help it. They talk a good religious game, but they rascals. They don't do nothing, he say. Screwing, getting drunk, high, in, in in ministry, then out of ministry, then back in ministry, then out of, you be looking at that like, what, what the heck is going on? So then when it came to what I was saying, I don't like doing it, and I kept doing it. Then I said, man, what, would it, what, what about you? Stop doing that. I said, I tell you what, and that's when I start preaching proof it. Then it concluded with, I got me a list, and I wrote that joker down. And the moment I wrote it down, I got attacked. And I smiled because I didn't do it. And then it happened again, and I still didn't do it. And then it happened again, and I still didn't do it. And I'm teasing it now. I'm smiling at it. Because greater is he that's in me than he's in the world. I ain't doing it no more. Ever. How about that? Because greater is he that's in me than he is in the world. Yeah. Straight up. Just like that. I put something on the list that I wanted to do more of. 
And then I gave myself a time frame. You're going to do this before the end of this month. And I don't have a choice. How many know, how many y'all know I'm going to do it unless I'm going to be in heaven? How many y'all, I'm going to do it. Period. I don't even give myself. Just like I told y'all when I had the dream about drinking and I was driving a Crescent on the freeway high above the cars and I was drunk and I crashed and then and there was explosion like somebody crashed because I crashed. And someone came up to me and said, you're all right. I was dusting up. I said, yeah. And they said, wait a minute, you've been drinking? And I lied and said, no. He said, wait a minute, have you been drinking? I lied and said, no. And he said, yeah, you shouldn't drink. And then all of a sudden I rose up on a crescent again. I was driving a crescent, a Grand Reaper crescent blade, heck a high on the freeway. It wasn't even a car. I was driving it though. I don't have dreams like that, but I was driving. Anyway, I crashed because I was drunk. Someone else crashed. It seemed like it was fatal. And they said, you've been drinking? I said, no. And they said, yeah, you shouldn't drink. You know what I'm saying? I just rose up all by myself. But this time the crescent wasn't as big. Still high above the people. And I was driving again. And then I start swerving again. And then I crashed because I was drunk. And then someone else crashed in an explosion. And it seemed fatal. Someone came over to me again and said, wait. Said, are you all right? I said, yeah, I'm all right. They said, wait a minute. You been drinking? I said, no. And they said, good. No, no they didn't say good. They said, yeah, you shouldn't drink. And I went bananas. I said, wait a minute. Somebody else just said that to me. Somebody else just said that to me. And then I woke up. And I haven't drank since. And that was years and years and years and years ago. But that's how I stopped drinking. And that's just the personal relationship I want with y'all. And oh boy, have I been tempted to drink since then. And let me tell you something. I will never drink. I didn't say, I ain't talking maybe. Do it seem like I'm stuttering? It's been years and years and years and years. And I had hundreds of opportunities to drink. Hundreds and plenty of times when I wanted to, but I'm not, and I ain't complaining either. So, whatever goes on the, the uh, proven list on mine is gone, and I'm so glad about it. <laughs> and that's that. <laughs> I pray y'all have the same confidence in y'all, and, and you're willing. The only way you could talk like that is if you're willing to suffer. Yeah, you got to be willing to say, well, that's over with. That's what I told drinking after that, after that dream, right? I said, well, that's over with. Ain't got to worry about that no more. And it's been true to this day. And it's going to be true until he come get me. That's, that's my personal testimony. Look, I'm finna get out of here. It says, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. You, you examine, that ain't my business. That's your business. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That's what it is, Banks. How many of y'all going to write it down? How many of y'all going to write it down? How many of y'all going to get a, a, a prove it list? How many of y'all dare do that? How many of y'all dare to do that? Some of you that don't have a complete made up mind, oh, I pray you get it. Uh, that's all. That's the best I can say for you. That's it. If you decide... Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, we'll deal with it. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Y'all ain't let me say nothing else about it. Already done. Jeff said me. Right on, Victoria. Call us. Call my wife as soon as we get off. So we can talk about it, sis. Um, Anyone else? Anyone going to get the list? You already got yours, mother? Bless you. Bless you. That's what's up. Where your list at, Bree? You getting the list? Logan. Logan got his list. Logan finna get his. Bree, where your list at? Is you getting it? Who? Who? Anyone else gonna get the list? Ah, oh, you already got it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Me, me and Maddie at Yahoo been talking about this. Feel me? He and I get down. Cause, cause we want to do a work for y'all, and we don't want to be accused of being a hypocrite while we doing it. We gotta live it. Period. Y'all get y'all list together. Ain't nobody business either. All right, Danielle. Ain't nobody business. This list is for you and y'all. This list is for you and y'all. 
if you run into a snag and you need some help, if you're a woman, you know, call, call, call Pastor Kim Tinsley or my wife, somebody like that, Nicole Bell or somebody. If you are, if you are, if you are, if you are, if you are a guy, call, call, call me, you know what I mean? Or some of these elders around here. Y'all with me? Y'all with me? All right. All right. Let's pray. Spirit of living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity coming for you. How many know how we're gleaning in your word, in your presence, because we, we need you desperately. We admit it. Um, give us victory over everything that we put on the prove it list. You said for us to examine ourselves to see whether we'll be in the faith. Oh, uh, and then after we examine ourselves and we admit we wrong, now prove you overcomer. Oh, we're going to prove it through your power. We're going to give it to you. We're going to cast our cares upon you, knowing you care, knowing you can shower down the power to overcome anything. You're the greater one that lives in us. Oh, we love you. We need you. We believe you. We trust you. We thank you. Deliver us from all things that we might walk circumspectly before you. And we'll be careful for you to praise and honor, not only now, but forever. In the matchless name of Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. And Amen. That was a lesson for the day. I pray we all continue to obey everything the most I say. Okay? Okay. I know. You know, a lesson like this is heavy lifting, and I know it too. But those that want to be perfect, it rock with this. Real talk. The only way, there is no other mindset that can deal with something like this because you've been called to the carpet. And that's where playtime is over. Playtime is over. Yeah, I, I run my mouth and preach too much for, for me to be playing. Playtime been over for me. And I need to step up to the plate. If, I ain't gonna stand up playing. I hit the ball. I'm gonna hit the ball. You hear me, Kendon? Good seeing you in here, family. And you see, and you hung in here with me too. Appreciate you, man. Bless you and the family, man. Bless you and the family. All right, I love y'all. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Okay. Thank everybody. That push the share button. Thank everybody that tagged us. How you witness? And thank everybody that financially supports this ministry. Like I always tell y'all, tell you again, don't never financially support a ministry that don't spiritually support you. I love y'all. Y'all want to talk about it? All you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. We'll be back on tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Yep, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time in the morning. Other than that, I love y'all. <laughs> That's what's up, Bill. You go hit it. I love y'all. Y'all be broken, broken. Shalom, I'm gone.